As a freelance professional, you've escaped the prison of the nine to five, but now you find you're out here in the desert where there are a million and one different directions for you to be headed in. How do you know which one to choose? How do you know what's the next step for you? Today, our purpose is to discover the one goal in your life that's going to reveal all the other goals that you'll ever need in your career. Hello and welcome to the Daydreamer series. I'm Michael Masters. Today we're going to borrow the best parts of two of my favorite resources on goal setting and combine them in hopes to get two results. One, to find clarity about what career goals are best for our businesses and two, to find the goal that you should be focusing on right now. There are two worksheets that you'll need if you want to complete these exercises for yourself. I put a link in the description for you to download them. I would suggest watching the entire video first and then completing the worksheets. All right, now let's get back to discovering your one goal. But before we take one step toward that goal, we're going to examine ourselves and the people that we're serving using a tool called Ikigai. Ikigai is a Japanese term meaning reason for being. It's actually the foundational concept that drove me to begin this series. By just looking at this graphic, it really explains it well. If you start at the very top at like 12 o'clock on the graphic, you have what you love. Then if you work counterclockwise from there, you have what you're good at, what you can be paid for, what the world needs. Now, once you start uh, combining and intersecting these different concepts, you come to the four elements that form the basis for many career decisions. As you can imagine, finding a place where all of these sort of mini goals come together, you could see how difficult it would be to arrive at something like that. Which is why they call it the reason for being, because when you do arrive at it, it will affirm that you're on the right track and then guide you through all the other goals that you set for your life and you will know that you haven't set them in vain, that they actually support some underlying reason for being. Okay, so now we're going to explore a goal setting resource by a pretty well known investor by the name of Warren Buffett. This is the 525 rule, and it'll help you narrow down that big bundle of goals you have down into the top five. The 525 rule came out of a conversation between Buffett and his pilot, Mike Flint. One day Buffett approached Flint about his personal goals and realized that since Flint still worked with him for over 10 years, that Buffett must not be doing his job. So he put him through this exercise. He was to list up to 25 things that he wanted to accomplish, then rank them in the order of importance, circle the top five items, and avoid the remainder of items at all costs. Instead of doing many things, he would double down on the fewer, more important things and do them very well. Now the reason why you should do the icky guy exercise before this one is so that you also have a fresh perspective of those activities that most resonate with you. So that when you're ranking the goals down to the top five, and then again when you choose goal number one, you're much more likely to head in the direction that best suits your customers, your career, and you. Hey, I hope you found these resources to be as helpful for you as they were for me. Again, I put a link in the description for both worksheets if you want to do these exercises for yourself. My achy guy is to be as helpful as possible to my fellow daydreamers. So I like to hear stories about what you're working on and any problems that you might be having in your own journey. Now go out there and build your dream machine. Discover the work that you love and that you're so exceptional at doing that people need it and they need it so much that they're willing to pay you for it. Take care.